Hey everyone, I'm here today to show you Tress Allure Charlotte in the color Dark Amber HL, which is a beautiful, beautiful color. So here's Charlotte. I've had Charlotte for over a year. I um, got Charlotte last year and I just wasn't sure if she was the style for me. And so I wore her once and that was it. And so I think I've said in some other videos, I'm going through some of my wigs right now just to kind of pare down because I have so many and I have so many that I've never reviewed. I was on a buying frenzy for the first 10 plus months of my wig journey and I have so many wigs that I purchased during that time and I really need to decide am I going to wear them or am I going to sell them. So I came across Charlotte and thought I have to do a review on her and then I'll decide. So let me show you Charlotte all around, talk about this color a little bit, and then let me tell you my journey with Charlotte. Charlotte is darling and I couldn't see that last year because I was too new but first of all dark amber HL you know I'll get outside for you but look at this color inside oh my goodness perfectly placed highlights right in the front and then a slight root that's just perfectly done in my opinion perfectly done so how do they describe Dark Amber HL? So I looked up on my trusty online. If you do a search for like a brand name and then color charts, you'll find some different ones online. And so this is what I found. Dark brown roots on medium reddish brown base with light reddish brown and pale champagne highlights. I think it's a perfect description. Dark brown roots on a medium reddish brown base with light reddish brown and pale champagne highlights. It's really not too red. It's, it's kind of a very muted um, amber golden brown. It's really not super red. Um, so if you're looking for you know a red, this isn't a red. If you're a little bit um, nervous about a wig that pulls a lot of red. I don't think this pulls a lot of red. I think it's kind of a golden auburny brown. Very, very beautiful. And these highlights are so pretty. So uh, Charlotte is a basic cap wig. And I, you know, I struggle sometimes with basic cap wigs. I just really like, I'm got to have a dry throat. I just really like, um, some, some cap features. I do like a lace front and a mono part. And so I think part of my struggle with Charlotte last year, because um, I had gotten her, I want to say I got her late spring, and I, you know, I had only been wearing wigs at that point for like six months, seven months. And so I did struggle a lot back then with shorter styles. At the time, I thought Charlotte was so short. I've actually worn some shorter styles now, so she doesn't feel that short to me anymore. And I also thought she was really voluminous. It felt like she had so much hair. And now, you know, almost two years into my wig wearing journey with so much more perspective, I don't think this is a lot of hair. What I think it is, is a lot of curly volume and that was part of what I struggled with. I also am so impressed with how little permatease Charlotte has for a basic cap wig. They just really styled this wig so well to give it some volume and give these curls some lift without going overboard on the permatease. There's just not a lot of, of permatease. There's not big poofy pillows of permatease, which is what I would have expected in seeing a style like this, and it's just not there. Um, so I think last year I struggled with just having shorter, voluminous, curly hair, to be honest with you. And then this was a really light color for me last year. So now I'm really comfortable in lighter colors, not so much last year. So let me take the cap off and show you. I'm getting a little warm in here because, you know, the summertime in my bathroom gets so hot. Um, so you can see this cap construction is just basic cap. 
Um, you know, no velvet ear tabs. There is some hair sewn in on the ear tabs. They are adjustable. They do have a metal stay in them. There is no extended nape. And then it does have the bra strap adjusters on it. And so, you know, pretty basic cap. So I don't recall what I paid for this. I, I think I got this on a clearance. I'm pretty sure I got this on a clearance with a coupon. Um, and I probably didn't pay a whole lot for it. Maybe $100, maybe a little more. So I would say this is a really good value priced piece. The fibers feel awesome. They're super soft. They're not super silky. They're kind of between silky and dry. And what that means is it's going to be realistic looking and there's not a lot of shine. She's not shiny at all. Um, the other thing I'm really impressed about with Charlotte is the lack of visible permatease on the top. So here's the top of the wig and there is no visible permatease. That's really special in a basic cap wig because you know, they have to somehow disguise how the hair is sewn into the cap. And usually that's done with permatease. This one doesn't have very much permatease to begin with. Just a little bit of crimpy fibers. I mean, I, I'm not going to say she has no permatease, but she has no pillowy, poofy permatease. Um, but they did such a good job with how they put the hair in the cap and then how the curls come off the cap that you can't see the permatease. And uh, you know, I've reviewed some wigs in the past where you have to deal with visible permatease because of the basic cap. And I talk about that in videos, how you can deal with that. You don't have to really with Charlotte. She's just great. Now, of course, every one of these is going to be slightly different. I have seen pictures on people of Charlotte and I'm it's nowhere near as curly as mine. I've seen her look a lot less curly. My Charlotte is quite curly, as you can see. And so the way she looks today is how she came out of the box today. When I pulled her out of the box, she's been in her box. I wore her one time last year, um, and she's been in her box since then. So she's been in her box. I have to say she's been in her box an entire year. I pulled her out just now. And I basically just had to finger style her just a little bit. That is all I have done to her. And she looks phenomenal. And I haven't put any product in her. I didn't get her wet. Now, I can't say I didn't do that last year when I first wore her. I can't remember. I wasn't making as many videos then. Um, so I really don't remember, but I can tell you she's been in her box a year. I did do a video, which I will tack on to this video. Of uh, So I posted a video on Facebook. I was struggling with whether or not to keep Charlotte. And I had put her on and I have her on with a bandana just in a headband, like folded into a headband. And she's so cute that way. And because I styled her that way, I really liked her that way. And I thought, let me keep her and see what I'm going to do. Well, I didn't end up really wearing her any more than that. But I do think she has great styling potential. So I am going to tack that video onto the end so then I won't be messing with her for putting a headband on her. But this kind of curl, so just let me tell you guys, this kind of curl pattern and this kind of length for me is the perfect headband wig because you can pull out a little bit of hair, which is what I did in my video, and then you can put a headband on and then you can kind of rock these curls and mess them up a little bit and it ends up looking so adorable. I also think you can pull her to the side really easy with a clip if you want to keep these bangs off your face a little bit because she is a basic cap. You're not going to pull her up, but you definitely can pull her to the side. Um, these bangs, actually, once I get her swept to the side, they do behave really pretty well. Um, as far as the ability to cut bangs, you can totally do that. So that's what she looks like pulled forward. And she does have kind of a good fringe there for cutting a full fringe in. Um, the cap fits me very snugly, actually. Um, I would say borderline tight. I have her all the way out. Um, I can't adjust, can't get her out any further and she feels pretty tight on me and she doesn't have really any stretch and I have no real extra cap up here. So I have to believe this is running average petite. So if you're average large, this is not going to fit you. Um, average, it kind of depends on where you fall in average and what the rest of your measurements are. I would say that one of the things you can do is you can cut the adjusters on one of these, especially these kind of pull adjusters, bra strap adjusters, and that's gonna give you just a little bit more flexibility. It will give you a little more stretch. 
Uh, so I think I am actually going to do that with this one because I think she's super cute. Um, I actually was going to review her today so I could put her for, for sale. I don't know actually that I'm going to sell her because I think she's really adorable. I just, she's, she's just like kind of that perfect done up hairdo. Maybe some people refer to this as a Karen hairdo. I don't know. I don't care. I like some Karen hairdos and I just love it. I, I think she's really darling. So if you've been looking at Charlotte, my caution for you is that the cap seems to run a little small on my piece. Maybe not on all because again, there's so much variation. Um, so the cap runs a little small and I had two caveats for you. Oh, the curls. I would say I have seen her look a lot straighter. So I don't know if there's huge variation in the curl pattern or when I see it on other people if they've combed her. So quickly, let me tell you one thing about curls. I do not comb curly wigs unless I want to relax those curls or there's something wrong with them. Because as soon as you start combing a curly wig, those curls will relax. You may be able to get them back getting it wet, but the more you comb it, the less the chance that they'll ever fully go back because they'll start to settle into that new style. I, um, I don't comb my curl girl monos. I just don't comb curly wigs. I may finger comb them slightly. I never comb them. And so when I see a girl mono on someone and she looks a lot straighter on that person than mine, I make an assumption that they're combing her because that will relax the curl. So when you see Charlotte on people, it could be that they've combed her and the curl has relaxed or it's just a different curl pattern. So, you know, there is a bit of a risk. I wouldn't have the expectation if I bought another Charlotte that it would look just like this one simply because I have seen so many Charlottes not look like this one. So please be keep that in mind. Be cautious. It is just part of this journey. And we just have to accept it and learn how to live with it because it is that's the way it goes with wigs and there's lots of variables and reasons why so stick around I'll show you this actually you may see the color I'm gonna watch that video again that I'm gonna uh, tack on here where I showed in the headband and I'm asking in the video I don't know if I should keep it or whatever that was from last year and it, I did it outside so if you can see the color well enough outside in that video that'll be your outside look as well if not I'll film another outside look for this so just keep in mind the video you see with the headband that was from last year thanks for watching please let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll talk to you soon all right here is dark amber HL outside that other video wasn't wasn't a good look at this so I decided to film this I am also going to show you how the ear tabs fit I forgot that and I know I have at least one wig sister who appreciates the ear tab look so look at this color though you guys it is so gorgeous I madly madly in love with this color I would keep this wig just for the color <laughs> Okay, I'm just, I spin a lot because I think the sun plays off it differently depending on how I am. And this root, it's rooted, but it's not rooted, if you know what I mean. It's just like a shadow. So it's really good. Okay, quickly, let's, let me just show you. First of all, she is extremely tuckable. Let me switch hands here. Totally tuckable. I just love that about her. And the coverage is actually excellent. The ear tabs come way down. You can see a tiny bit of my bio hair. So even though this cap is snug on me, the coverage is really good. It's not like it's a, it's small everywhere else. Let me also tell you, I have Shayna by Tressalure. That cap is unbelievably different than this one. It's a lot bigger. And it does have a mono a part and a lace front, whereas this is basic cap. I don't know how much that plays into it, but this cap is really snug on me. And Shayna is not. So if you own other Tressalure wigs, don't assume that Charlotte's gonna fit you the same. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Isn't this just gorgeous? I love this color. All right, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna tack that other video on the end here so you'll get to see it in a headband. Hey, guys. Okay, so I'm looking for some help here. I am trying to decide whether I keep the wig that I have on right now or whether I sell her. So this is um, Charlotte by Tressalure in the color Dark Amber HL. Let me double check that. Yes, Charlotte Tressalure Dark Amber HL. And I have had this wig for months. Six months, no, 
maybe six months. I've had her for a really long time. I think I got her possibly in November. Um, on a closeout deal that was super cheap and she, since she's a basic cap she's pretty cheap to begin with and so at that time I was purchasing some shorter wigs to try and see if maybe they could be my summer styles and I have pretty much sold all of the shorter wigs I purchased except for this one and then I have another a John Renault I can't remember what the name of it is. She hasn't sold. I haven't really tried that hard, but I did post her for sale and no one bought her. So I may repost her. But anyway, I wanted to just try this on again. And I decided I'm going to wear her today and see how it goes. And I'm just not sure the style is, I mean, it's so cute. I just don't know that it's so cute on me. And so what I've done is I've put a headband on to try to do something with that. She's got so much curl, like beautiful beautiful curl up on top but it's just so much hair but she's adorable and I love this color dark amber HR um, or HL it's so pretty it's got this really really pretty highlight up here which is why I wanted to leave this part loose because I really want to show off that highlight and then it's a medium brown and it might have some auburn in it it's just so cute I think I can get the color codes for you I'll look into that and and post them but I want your opinion. Does this work for me? So I'm going to turn around and show you the back. Oh, I always have to look at this to make sure the color goes back when it wants to get all funky on me, when it can't see my face. So I don't know. What do you think? Um, I don't know that I'll ever wear her down unless I thin her and trim her. It's not that she's got a ton of hair. She really doesn't have a lot of hair. She's really light density. It's just that the way that the layers and the curls, it just looks like all over the place. And so for me, it just might be a bit too much. So let me know what you think. I will be doing a review on her. Uh, just even if I sell her, I'd like to kind of get a review out there, but I'm looking for opinions to start with and then I'll, I'll film a review. Maybe I'll even film a review today later on. I'm already ready to go, but um, I can do it a little bit later. I'll take the headband off so you can see her in all her glory. So anyway, this is Charlotte. I'd love your opinion on what you think of her on me. So I can decide, should I keep trying to make her mine or should I see if I can find her a home with someone who's used to shorter styles? Thanks you guys. I appreciate your help.